Hi, today I want to show you how to correctly use Google to search for images without actually stealing other people's work. So let's say I am looking for a picture of Batman to use. So what I see um, a lot of you doing is we go to here, we click Batman, we look for images, and then we take any of these images we want. Some of you um, screenshot what you want, some of you right click and download and save as, but really we don't own any of these images. So I'm going to show you what you should be doing. We are, you can do this and then click search tools. And then it opens all these options. So you can see you can look for a certain size photo. Um, you can look for something that just shows the face. So these are previous actors for Batman. Um, just shows a photo. Just shows a clip art. So that's like the cartoon-ish looking. A line drawing of Batman or animated or any type. You can search for um, something that's been posted anytime, something that's but just been up recently. But this is really where we're going to um, do this correctly. We are going to click on Usage Rights. Notice not filtered by license. That means anything that's on the internet with Batman is on this page. But we want to use it. So if we want to modify it, say we want to change something on it, we need to click here. That means these images we can modify. These images we can borrow, we can use, legally use these. We are non-commercial, so we can click on this non-commercial use. So these are also images that we can use. I know they're not the, exactly the same as when we did not filtered by license. But legally and morally, really, somebody else owns this picture. Somebody else owns the right to it. We shouldn't be stealing other people's works. So we always want to be um, either use labeled for reuse or labeled for non-commercial -commer reuse. Um, if you want to change something on it, you have to use the modification one. So that is the most correct way to use Google to search for images that are um, appropriate for us to use.